the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, just yesterday we unboxed this particular phone and to my good luck, well, I call it a good luck because it is very, very difficult to go ahead and get the bootloader unlocked on one of the Xiaomi devices. Now, as you know, from the days of the Redmi Note 3, the Redmi Note 4, the Redmi 4A, I have been, you know, rooting, flashing and doing everything possible to get the maximum out of a Xiaomi device. Now, guess what? That is what we're going to do with the Note 5 Pro and the Redmi Note 5 that we have in the house these days. But for this particular video, we're going to look at the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. We're going to be unlocking the bootloader. Well, as I said, spoiler alert, I've already unlocked the bootloader and I would love to make an updated video on how I managed to unlock the bootloader in just one day with the old ID that I had. But today we're going to look at a video in which we're going to install TWRP recovery. We're going to root it with Majisk and then we will boot into MIUI to check that the phone has been rooted or not. Now before we begin, if you don't remember me, my name is Kalash with Smartphone Tutorials and I'm sure you've subscribed if you've not already please subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell icon and here's a card to the latest giveaway so without further ado hello awesome people my name is Kalash welcome to smartphone tutorials let the routing begin now before we begin let me inform you about a few things right off the bat First of all, make sure you have at least 50% battery on your Redmi Note 5 Pro and the second rule as we always follow here at Smartphone Tutorials, your personal data is very very important. Now I'm not saying that this procedure is going to wipe any of your data but it's very very essential that you go ahead and back up all your important information. At the same time you will need a computer which has an internet connection and you will need a micro USB cable so that you can connect your phone to the computer. Now before we begin, remember you need to have a unlock bootloader on your Note 5 Pro to follow the process and if you don't know how to go ahead and unlock the bootloader here's a card to that watch that video and get your bootloader unlocked so let's begin the process of rooting the Redmi Note 5 Pro all right guys so we are looking at my computer right now so to install TWRP and to get root access on your Note 5 Pro there are four files that you will need so uh, let me just share a link which will help you to download all these four files now this is the link that is there in the description just go ahead and click on that link and uh, let me show you which page you will see then all right so this is the page you will come to and uh, lazy flasher magisk minimal ADP and fast boot and TWRP. So these are the four files you need to download and just go ahead and download them. And let me just show you an example as to how to download them. If you click on download over here for one of the files and then it will say click here to start download. So click here and it will start searching for a mirror. Just give it a couple of seconds depending on your connection. It will take a while. All right. Once you find a mirror, just click on it and the download should just begin. So similarly, you just need to go ahead and download all the files. Now, I will not download them again because I have them downloaded already, of course. So these are the four files that you will have. The Lazy Flasher, Majisk, Minimal ADP and Fast Boot, and TWRP. So the first thing to do, of course, is to go ahead and install Minimal ADP and Fast Boot. There you go. This is a very, very simple process. Hit next, next again. If you want to change the path, you can change the path here. Hit next again, next. And if you want, you can create a desktop icon. I don't need it, next and install. So we will not launch it for now. Now the next step that you need to do is you need to right click on the TWRP file and copy it. Then we will go to the install location of minimal ADB and fastboot. Now normally that is in the C drive in program files x86 minimal ADP and fast boot and copy and paste it here now you see that I've already had it pasted there I'll paste it once again there you go all right so now that we have everything copied to the place where we want it to before we proceed what you need to do is you need to connect this end of the USB cable to your computer and connect your phone to the computer like this and then you will see that you get a pop-up so select transfer files and then go to the location where the files have been downloaded and lazy flasher and majisk 
these are the two files that you would want to copy to your phone's internal memory. Just go ahead and copy and paste them to your phone's internal memory. You see Magisk is already there and I also have Lazy Flasher as well. Now once that is done, you can disconnect the phone from the computer and you would want to press and hold the power button and power the phone completely off. Then what you need to do is, if you can see here, this is the power and the volume down button, volume down and power. So you need to go ahead and press and hold volume down and power together and keep it pressed till the time you see the bootloader screen. Now this is how the bootloader or the fast boot screen looks, all right? Okay, so then once it is in fast boot mode, just connect your phone to the computer again all right and then you need to go to start the start menu of your windows basically and type in minimal and you will see that minimal adb and fast boot pops up so this is the window that will launch now there's another way to do it you can go to c drive program files x86 and minimal adb and fast boot folder and now you see that twrp is copied here so right click on it and click on rename now take your cursor to the blue area and right click again and hit copy then you need to double click on this file that is cmd here so next what we need to do is type in fast boot and then hit space then flash space again and then type in recovery that is r e c o v e r y hit a space and then right click your mouse so you will see that the twrp name loads here and then dot img now you need to do all this while your phone is in fast boot mode with the unlocked bootloader and then just hit enter now it should say okay okay over here over here and over here now that means that the recovery or the custom twrp recovery has been flashed now what you need to do next is press and hold the power button and the volume up button. Remember earlier to get into fast boot mode, we pressed power and volume down. We need to do the opposite this time. So we're gonna press power and volume up. Now we're gonna keep this pressed till the time you see the MI logo. So three, two, one, here we go. The moment you see the MI logo, you can go ahead and Disconnect the phone and wait for the phone to boot into TWRP. Alright guys, so as you can see we are in TWRP and we just need to swipe to unlock. And now remember we had copied two zips into the internal memory of the phone and that's what's going to work for us now. So we will go to install and the first thing that we're going to install is Majisk. So that's basically our root access. So let's go ahead and flash that. Now this flash will take about uh, say about 30 seconds to a minute. So please don't panic. And yeah, the TWRP for this particular device is still in beta. Uh, the external SD card is not working. That is what I read over at XDA developers. So if you are rocking external SD card, don't use that. Use the internal memory. Now you see that the flashing is complete. Don't reboot just yet. You need to go to install again and flash the lazy flasher without which the phone will not boot all right okay so with that done we have permanent access to twrp and root so let's go to reboot and system now of course the next question you guys would have is that uh, okay i unlocked the bootloader i have rooted the phone what happens if i get a ota or over the air update Newsflash, your OTAs will fail. You can never go ahead and update your phone ever again. Not exactly, guys. I'm kidding. So relax. Yeah, there is a way to go ahead and install updates to your phone while your phone is rooted and to preserve TWRP as well. I will make a separate video on that. Give this video a like if you would like to see a video on that. And we are in MIUI. All right, guys. So the phone has booted up and let me show you some magic here that's Majisk Manager. So that's basically your 
root access if it gives you any such update you can go ahead and install it i'm gonna say no thanks now i will make a separate video on my disk but this is what root access looks like on the redmi note 5 pro you can also use it with banking apps and safety net so that was the video for you guys that is how you install twrp and root on the redmi note 5 pro if you like this video guys like share and subscribe stay tuned for the next one until next time keep smiling take care goodbye